Happening now on News Channel 5's Nightside. Earlier today, four juveniles escaped from the OJJ facility in Bunky. The latest on the search coming up. Thanks for joining us for News Channel 5 Sunday Night Side. I'm Alex Orenchuk and our top story tonight. Juvenile inmates are on the run after escaping from the Acadiana Center for Youth in Bunky this afternoon. According to the Office of Juvenile Justice, four juveniles escaped the facility around 2.30 and two of them were captured just a few hours later. As of the latest update, two juveniles, a 16-year-old from Calcasieu Parish and a 15-year-old from Grant Parish, are still on the run. The Boas Parish Sheriff's Office, Louisiana State Police and other local agencies join in the search for the escapees and an LSP helicopter could be seen flying over Bunky during the search this afternoon. The Office of Juvenile Justice said that a command center has been set up at the facility to help gather, track and distribute information during the search for the two juveniles still on the run. State Representative from that area, Daryl Desodel, told KALB that he was informed that a group of juveniles allegedly attacked a female guard and took her keys, leading to the escape. The guard has serious injuries from the attack, and Desotel said he was informed that riots allegedly broke out at the facility, but have since been contained. It's time now to get a first look at today's weather. For that, we're going to send it to Chief Meteorologist Rachel Penton in the First Alert Storm Center. Rachel, we got some rain. Yeah, some much needed rain have not seen this site in quite a while, and that is widespread rain and storms on our radar this evening, including uh, some stronger storms. Uh, so heavy rain falling uh, really throughout most of our parishes right now, as we do have a lot of lightning in these storms, as well as, uh, again, heavy rain, some gusty wind. So uh, we have some additional storms uh, moving in uh, from north to south uh, from that I-20 corridor. And as you can see, there are plenty of rain in East Texas as well. So we're looking at ongoing rain continuing into tonight. A lot of spots have picked up uh, rain so far today of oils. One of our drier spots so far, but we've seen some locally higher amounts of uh, two or more inches here. So uh, definitely a welcome sight. And believe it or not, we made it up to 109 today uh, before that rainfall uh, pushed in here today. So we had 109 in Alexandria and Natchitoches, as well as a few other spots. So that'll make it the 37th, 100 Degree day of the year of the summer so far, and right now we're at 82 in Alexandria, at least 75 in Winfield, and 85 over in Leesville. So, planning it for tonight, expect those showers and storms to continue into the early morning hours of Monday. We should see some isolated rain potentially lingering early, also some clouds sticking around for tomorrow. And we'll have additional chances for showers and storms tomorrow afternoon. So, we'll talk about that in the full forecast. And while officials in Vernon Parish are working around the clock to monitor and stop those wildfires, residents in the Lions Camp Road area are breathing a sigh of relief after a wildfire started in the area yesterday. Those flames have been contained, but the impact on residents is undeniable. Bennett Roland Jr. has more.